We have another speaker that's going to join us right now. Um, he's a, been a long-time activist here in Vancouver and was around for some of the very first 420s and has been around ever since. He's now the assistant editor of Cannabis Culture Magazine. I give you now Marius Sosa. Hi, everyone. Like uh, Greg says, I've seen uh, quite a few uh, rallies here, and it first like 20 years ago it wasn't it wasn't quite the same as it was today I think you'll agree like when I first started smoking pot I immediately realized that it was like different from alcohol like you guys all know it doesn't give you a hangover um, it's beneficial in in the end and uh, somehow is somehow spiritual as well so logically it occurred to me that everybody who was in jail on marijuana uh, offenses was immediately innocent and it was all just a waste of police resources uh, a waste of court resources a huge waste of money and time and energy it put disrepute to the government it made us hate our cops because we knew they were enforcing shitty laws and so I decided to make it one of my goals to like change it to end the drug war just to, to, to cure society of this this corrupt, disgusting practice. And then the interesting thing about cannabis is like there was more to it. Then uh, Jack Hare wrote a book called The Emperor Wears No Clothes. And we found out that uh, we can use hemp for, to make paper and plastics and clothing. And that we can eat the hemp seeds as vegetarians and get a complete protein. And that we don't have to chop all the forest down because we can use hemp paper. And we saw and we saw how the, the corporations that were stopping this from happening were really corrupt. And then a few years later, we found out about medical marijuana. We found out that since the 70s, the US government has been suppressing research about curing cancer, that it cures, helps to cure epilepsy, that glaucoma, all a multitude of things that I can't even begin to uh, list here and you know the rabbit hole just got deeper and deeper so now for me standing here an issue that was like a tiny little thing about people going to jail for marijuana has blossomed into something that can change the entire world now we can stand here and we can imagine people being uh, clothed out of hemp clothes we can imagine buildings being made out of hemp crete we can imagine cars running through the city made out of hemp like Henry Ford intended, running on hemp oil as Henry Ford intended. We can imagine not chopping down the forest for cattle and for trees anymore, you know, so that we don't have to face this greenhouse gadget, gases. We can imagine a hemp utopia. So I just wanted to say that 20 years ago, if you told somebody that 20 years later there's going to be 20,000 people smoking and dealing pot to each other and the police are going to be helping us out they say you're crazy so if I say today that I believe in a society that has I integrity in its government politicians that you can trust police that you can trust and respect you might say that I'm crazy but I don't think so. I think that the impossible is true if we can just envision and believe in it. So I want you, everybody, to envision the cannabis utopia you want to live in and hold on to that vision because it's going to come true. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Marius.